Good evening, everybody. Let's start our sports dribble with high school basketball action from Atumwa. Atumwa took control first with Austin Walker scoring a three. And in case anyone missed it, he let everyone know on his way back down the court. Carter Burns showed off his left-handed skills with this layup. And here is the guy who gets player of the game in my book, Darren Dimmitt with the three. He drew three charges tonight and came up with a steal and two points to force the game into overtime. With four extra minutes, Atumwa pulled out their second victory of the year with a score of 70 to 67. The Kirksville boys were looking to snap a three game losing streak as they hosted Fulton. It was senior night for Kirksville. Kevin Henke gets three. Great play by Fulton's Dalton Holtzmeyer underneath. Wow, another Tiger senior, Tyson Grugrich, came to play. He will get the three. Low scoring game. Kirksville would fall by four, 57 to 53. Over the South, Shelby girls hosting 16 and 5, making to a sellout crowd for a good cause on Pink Out Night. For breast cancer, here's Macon Shelby Butner making it rain for three from the corner. South Shelby tries to match it, no good, but Emily Ellison grabs the board, goes off the glass for two. To Macon senior Valerie Schmidt weaving through traffic for the layup, Macon wins 61 49. The Skyler County girls lost to Milan by two points the last time they met. This time, the Rams wanted revenge. Milan in green, trailed by 10. Kylie Doak drains the three. The Rams, Whitney McElhaney, had it going inside all night for the home team. Milan was determined. Andrea Sylvester puts her team up by two. The Rams try and tie it up. Mallory Haley is fouled underneath. And you know what? My battery dies. She will make one free throw with eight seconds left. But Milan Sylvester sealed the deal at the free throw line. Milan wins it 49 to 46. In Moravia, the girls hosted the second round of regional play. They hosted the Falcons of Wayne. Nicole Self put, put the Mohawks on the board, crashing the board twice and finally finding the bottom of the net. Then Mandy Gassman from Wayne got the bounce and the two points. Moravia lost the ball for a second, but Kendall Brown is there to pick up the scraps and snag a basket for her team. Moravia lives to play another game. They won tonight 62-48. to in other girls' games, Kirksville uses strong second half to defeat Fulton 69-49. Highland got by Clark County 37-34. Bevere bounced Green City 41-38. Kyoto stopped Bell Plain 46-36. Brashear lost to Macon County 53-52. Moravia got by Wayne 62-48. In boys' action, Oskaloosa lost to Sheridan 47-46. Bevere got by Green City 63-56. Putnam County pounded Knox County 69-49. Centerville lost to Pella 69-61. Macon County was a winner over Brashear 56-23. And it was South Shelby 60, Macon 57. Atumwa wrestlers will be sending two athletes to state, Karsten Van Velser and Kevin Childs. Van Velser is the eighth seed. He is excited about the chance to make a run for a state title. While Childs has gone from just two wins a year ago to state, their coach, Kevin Cochran, knows the sacrifice his guys have made just to get to state, and it could be over quickly. You know, it breaks a heart, a coach's heart, to, to see it come to an end so, you know, so abruptly. And, and it all comes down to what we work for all year, normally it comes down to one match. Tomorrow morning at 11, the EBF wrestlers will hit the mats in the capital city as the Rockets will face Emmitsburg in the team competition. Kamity will be there. We'll have highlights 6 and 10. The state tournament starts Thursday in Missouri for Kirksville. And you know what? The Tigers will send four athletes with plenty of experience. How will all that knowledge help them on the state's biggest stage? It'll help me a lot because I've been there before and I can, uh, I know what I have to do this time and I'm ready to wrestle. Last year I went down and I was kind of like awestruck by the environment of everything and I think this year having that experience as a freshman, getting down there, it's just going to help. I'm not going to be as nervous as I was last year. I'm going to know what to expect and kind of know how things go so I'll be more experienced than some of the other kids. I'm just going out there to wrestle my matches and I'm, I'm going to do what I need to do to win. Uh, I'm not going to change my game plan any. It's going to be the same that it has been all year round and I'm just going to do what I, I know what to do. 
We have a signing to tell you about a Tumble softball standout, Beth Overturf signed her letter of intent to start her college softball career over at Indian Hills. She had plenty of choices, but she's glad to be playing close at home.